Is wildlife a favorite topic of yours? Just curious. Well, let's begin. The great tit is a passerine bird in the tit family parody. It is a widespread and common species throughout Europe, the Middle East, Central Asia, and east across the Palearctic to the Amur River, south to parts of North Africa where it is generally resident in any sort of woodland, most great tits do not migrate except in extremely harsh winters. The great tit remains the most widespread species in the genus Paris. The great tit is a distinctive bird with a black head and neck, prominent white cheeks, olive upperparts and yellow underparts, with some variation amongst the numerous subspecies. It is predominantly insectivorous in the summer, but will consume a wider range of food items in the winter months, including small hibernating bats. Like all tits it is a cavity nester, usually nesting in a hole in a tree. The female lays around 12 eggs and incubates them alone, although both parents raise the chicks. In most years the pair will raise two broods. The nests may be raided by woodpeckers, squirrels and weasels and infested with fleas, and adults may be hunted by sparrowhawks. The great tit has adapted well to human changes in the environment, and is a common and familiar bird in urban parks and gardens. The great tit is also an important study species in ornithology. It has a distinctive appearance that makes it easy to recognize. The nominate race has a bluish-black crown, black neck, throat, bib and head, and white cheeks and ear coverts. The breast is bright lemon yellow, and there is a broad black midline stripe running from the bib to vent. There is a dull white spot on the neck turning to greenish yellow on the upper nape. The rest of the nape and back are green tinged with olive. The wing coverts are green, the rest of the wing is bluish gray with a white wing bar. The tail is bluish gray with white outer tips. The plumage of the female is similar to that of the male except that the colors are overall duller, the bib is less intensely black, as is the line running down the belly, which is also narrower and sometimes broken. Young birds are like the female, except that they have dull olive-brown napes and necks, grayish rumps, and grayer tails, with less defined white tips. Great tits are primarily insectivorous in the summer, feeding on insects and spiders which they capture by foliage gleaning. Their larger invertebrate prey include cockroaches, grasshoppers and crickets, lacewings, earwigs, bugs, ants, flies, caddis flies, beetles, scorpion flies, harvestmen, bees and wasps, snails and woodlice. The Eurasian sparrowhawk is a predator of great tits, with the young from second broods being at higher risk partly because of the hawk's greater need for food for its own developing young. The nests of great tits are raided by great spotted woodpeckers, particularly when nesting in certain types of nest boxes. Other nest predators include introduced gray squirrels and least weasels, which are able to take nesting adults as well. I am glad that you could spend some time for these wonderful animals. Take care, God bless.